these messages will be for air sign. Air signs, this is a message that is from the heavens, that is from your loved ones. Uh, they specifically are pushing my grandmother to let you know that they are okay. Also, um, they want you to know that even though you feel lost air signs without your loved one here, they want you to know that they will always point you in the right direction. This is the card that came up for you. So this is for air signs. And this is the card that is meant for you to know that when you're calling upon your loved ones for help, for direction, letting them know how you miss them and how you're scared, um, they're saying that it's okay, that you'll be okay. They're letting you know that it is okay to cry because when you do cry, tears are what cleanses the soul. So they want you to know that they are with you every step of the way. So with that being said, that is for air signs. Now I'm on fire signs. Fire signs, your message from heaven. Those who you lost um, to diseases, illnesses, accidents, overdoses, whatever the case may be. They want you to know that they had to leave that way. That was exactly what had been planned from the day that they were born until the day that they were taken back home. They want you to know um, they are also here with you in spirit and that they have become one of your guides. Okay, so this is for you guys. The next one is for water signs. Water signs for you. They want you to know that the earth is our school and that is the card that came up for you. They want you to know that even though you're going through a lot of trials and tribulations, even though life has been difficult along the way, there has definitely been many, many obstacles and challenges. But yet if you look back, they're saying you'll see all the things that you've accomplished, all the challenges that you, you know, you, you struggled through, but you did it. You got through there. They also want you to know that they don't want you to feel guilty in any way, shape, or form for anything that's going on in your life or for uh, them being gone. Uh, for some of you, you were not able to make it there in time to say goodbye. For some of you, um, you may not have been able to stop what you're doing or move from one place to get to their place. You may have had your own family that you had to take care of as well. But they want you to know that you have nothing to feel guilty about. Also, too, they said that there is nothing that is your fault, and they want you to hear that. <clears throat> Next, I have four earth signs. Earth signs, your message is, although you may not understand it now, everything, everything, they're not just talking about death, they're saying that everything happens for a reason. And that when you're searching for true love and you're searching for that relationship, uh, they want you to know that, again, everything happens for a reason. So it's important to know that sometimes your puzzle piece will match with someone else's, maybe for a little while, maybe for a long period of time, Sometimes forever, sometimes not. But what they want you to know is there will be another person that will come towards you, that will have the fitting piece for your piece to the puzzle. So please know that you will not be alone and stay alone, that there will be someone else that is going to come and to take your hand. They also want you to know that they are sorry, and they're saying to please forgive me. Because I didn't want to go. I didn't want to leave you behind. I didn't mean... For some of you, this is a person saying they didn't mean to do so much. They didn't mean to overdose. For some of you, it's they didn't mean to drink so much and drive. They didn't mean for it to end this way. For some of you who know someone who's committed suicide, 
they did not mean to hurt you. They were in so much pain themselves that they were not thinking about other people and how this would affect other people. At the time, they were so overwhelmed with their feelings and their sadness that they weren't able to make clear cognitive choices or decisions. They want you to know, though, that now they can tell you that life is, life is a series of choices. So it is a series of choices, and they want you to choose love. The next message that I have, I'm going to read, and if this resonates that it's for you, then in fact it is. This is all signs, all elements. And it says, I was met by so many loving people on the other side. There were so many people when I got there, and they're saying that they were scared too on that journey at first. But that warm light, that bright light was so warm that it helped them and, and eased their fears and worries. When they finally got to their destination, they met so many people who welcomed them and assured them that it was going to be okay. They want you to know that their death was painless. Please don't worry or hold on to any guilt. Their struggle is over. Their freedom is now in front of them. And they want you to know that. They want you to know that they watch over you every single day. Every single day. And that's what they want you to be sure that you know that. They want you to know that their mind is free. Their mind is clear. And they can see you from heaven. That's what they want you to know. They also want you to know, just like my grandmother says, every time when somebody asks me, well, can you tell me when that will happen? Well, could you tell me how long I have to wait? There is no time where I am. Time is only on the earth. So when I have trouble giving you guys an estimated time when something's going to happen, when you're going to hear from somebody, when you're going to meet up with somebody, when you're going to re, um, regroup with somebody, or uh, go back and reunite in a certain way, they want you to know there is no time on the other side. But they want you to know that they are better now. They are better now. So keeping all your loved ones in mind. And we come and we ask for all those who are still grieving over the loss of a loved one. Who are still feeling the pain and the sadness from missing somebody who was so special. And, and made such a difference on this earth that is now up in the heavens. We come to you, Father, at this time and ask you and your son to help us to stay strong. To help us to remind ourselves what blessing these people were in our lives. And how much they made us such a better person. They may be gone, but they'll never be forgotten. One day... We shall meet again. Amen. So with that being said, please know their last parting words is So they want you to know their last parting words is I am here helping you. So they are here. You may not see them, but you may feel them. You may smell them. You may get a glimpse. You may see a sparkle, a flash. There's so many different signs. You may find a penny, a quarter, a nickel, a dime, a feather. But just know that your loved ones are right here. And they are missing you just as much as you are missing them. Because they too would love to have communication with you. When you speak to them, they can hear you. They can hear you. When they speak to you, you can't sometimes hear their words. So 
They send different things your way. They send many different things your way. <coughs> whether it's a cardinal, whether it's a blue jay, whether it's a dove, whether it's a feather, like I said, they try to communicate with you in so many ways. They may flash your lights. They may wake you up out of a sound sleep. You may see the 1111 on a clock. But what they want you to know is we will be together again. Not now, but when we're supposed to. Be patient and be still. But they love you very, very much unconditionally. They want you to see this card that says we will be together again. So I hope this helps you guys to get through <clears throat> some of the holiday blues that you may still be carrying with you, some of the sadness, and I don't want you to keep that guilt because there was nothing that you could have done about it. There's nothing that you could have said or done that would have changed the outcome because if it wasn't meant to happen, it wouldn't have. God is protecting you. And your loved ones on the other side. So no worries. No fears. Pay attention for the signs that I promise will come your way. When your loved one is trying to reach out to you, they will be adamant. They will make sure that you understand it's them. That it's not just some freak thing happening. It's not a strange occurrence. It is, in fact, them. They love you. But they're always, always with you. And that's what they want you to know.